White Owl, the cigar that's made milder to smoke milder, invites you to play ball by calling the play. Yes, sir, it's the chance all of you armchair managers and quarterbacks have sort of been waiting for. I think everybody likes at one time or another to fancy himself as a major league manager or coach a professional football team or a college team, whatever it may be in the world of sports, wherein you like to match your knowledge of sports, in any case, with the big leaguers in the major games just as they were played. Well, here's where you really find out if you know your football, baseball, basketball, boxing, and sports in general because we're going to play back for you some of the most exciting situations in sports and ask you to call the play. And you can win one or more $100 United States savings bonds and a box of 50 White Owls by calling the play right in our White Owl Special of the Week. So brush up on your sports, will you? And we're going to have a big one for you a little bit later on in the show. But right now, let's get the ball rolling. I'd like to sort of warm you up a little bit for our Call the Play game. I'm going to ask you now, as you watch very closely, a little bit later to call the play. At Madison Square Garden, the Philadelphia Warriors and the New York Knicks. Late in the fourth quarter, the Knicks are leading 82 to 81 as they get that ball near the basket and work it around. Simmons takes a set shot. It's no good. And the ball is knocked out of bounds by Dick McGuire. The Warriors take possession. Jack George brings it down court for the Warriors. The ball goes into the pivot. Back to George who shoots as the buzzer sounds ending the game. Say how well do you know your basketball? You'll find out on this one I'm pretty sure. While the ball is in the air the referee blows his whistle but the ball goes through the basket. Now then, the question confronting you as a referee is, do those two points count? You know, in most sports, after referee is called time, the ball is automatically out of play. Now, this is a real sports stumper, I believe. On the other hand, it might be quite easy for some of you. But let's see if you can call the play. You've got eight seconds. George shoots. The basket is good. The Warriors win 83 to 82. Did you call the play? Well, even though the whistle sounded while the ball was still in the air, the two points are good. Yes, sir, they count. You see, if the ball's already left the player's hands before the whistle is blown, the game is not over until the shot has been completed. Well, how about that one? Sort of an easy one for a starter, wasn't it? But believe me, you better break out the old rule book because from here on in, they're going to get a lot tougher. Say, friends, have you tried a white owl lately? I hope you have. Man, this is really living. Mm -hmm. Such sweet smell and smoke. You know, if I live to be 100, I'll never smoke a milder cigar. I can tell you that right now. This is mild as a smile and good tasting, too. Good tasting and full of flavor. A real good cigar all the way every puff you take. How about trying a white owl? Only cost a dime, you know. That's all just a dime. I sometimes wonder how in the world they can make a cigar so good and just charge you a dime for it. But, of course, the answer's in volume. You see, White Owl sells millions of cigars week after week after week. And by selling so many, it can sell for so little, just a dime. Now, if White Owl gives you such outstanding value for just a dime, then why in the world pay more for your cigar? Why pay 15 cents or two for a quarter? Or, for that matter, why pay 10 cents for any other cigar when, for a dime, you can get such wonderful smoking with a White Owl. Smoke milder, save money with a White Owl cigar. You've got two wonderful shapes to choose from, the famous Invincible and the stylish Slim Trim Panatella. Made milder to smoke milder, and just a dime. Well, let's try for a change of pace now and get back to America's favorite pastime. You're going to be the manager of a red-hot situation at Ebbets Field where the Philadelphia Phils are battling those bums right there in Flatbush. Erskine on the mound for the Brooklyn Dodgers. It's a 1-1 ball game. Runners on second and third as Erskine pitches to Willie Jones. Ball one. Ball two. Erskine in the hole. Ball three. Ball 
Ball four as Erskine tried to get a corner but didn't succeed and the bases are now loaded. The next batter is Connie Ryan. It's a high pop up. Roy Campanello calls for it in foul territory. One out now but the bases are still loaded. One one ball game and Bill Nicholson is the next hitter. Strike one. Little action in the bullpen. It's a tough situation. Carl Erskine on the spot. Bases loaded. One out. Strike two. He swings and misses. Erskine bearing down in this situation. Strike three. And the next batter due up is Robin Roberts, the pitcher. There's one of every big league manager has to face at some time or other. Let's see how you do with it. Now remember the situation. Seventh inning of a tie ball game. One to one's the score. The bases are loaded with two out. And Robin Roberts, great pitcher, is coming up to bat. Of course, he's been pitching a pretty good ball game. Now, would you let him hit or would you send him a pinch hitter? That's a toughie, I think. But you're the manager for the fields, and I'm going to give you just eight seconds to decide what you would do in that situation. With the bases loaded two out in the seventh inning of a 1-1 ball game, the pitcher, Robin Roberts, comes up to bat for himself. Well, now, normally, the right play would be to let Robin Roberts bat for himself. You see, with the score tied one and one with two men out in the seventh inning, and with a guy like Robin Roberts pitching, he's an ace and doing pretty well in this ball game, then you'd take a chance with him coming to bat and perhaps driving in the runs to help his own cause. Now, in just a few moments, fans, we'll be giving you a chance to win one or more $100 United States savings bonds and a box of 50 White Owl cigars by actually calling a play. Across the nation, our White Owl sportscasters are standing by in each White Owl city, and one of them may be telephoning you for our play of the week. Now, to be eligible for this call, friends, here's all you have to do. Simply drop me a postcard or a note. Mel Allen, care of the station to which you're now watching. Just like the one you see there on the screen. That's all you have to do. Just a note or postcard to me, Mel Allen, care of your station. Now, each week in your city, we'll be calling a new armchair quarterback or manager to call the play and win our big savings bond award and a box of White Owl cigars. But that's not all, friends. By registering for Call the Play, you automatically become a member of our living room league, and that will entitle you to some really wonderful privileges. Now, that's something I know that every sports fan in the country would like to have. And as a special bonus this week, the first 50 people to register for Call the Play in your city will receive a White Owl 5-pack with five truly mild White Owl cigars. I hope that you'll get in on this fun. You'll have a lot of fun with Call the Play. So drop me a card or a note tonight. Will you do that? Thank you very much. And now for our White Owl Play of the Week. The game is between the New York Giants and the Cleveland Browns. Now watch this play closely because it's one in which you can win one or more $100 United States savings bonds and a box of 50 White Owl cigars. So I hope you'll call the play right. In the third period at the Polo Grounds, Otto Graham hands off to Chick Gigady, who gains three yards to the Cleveland 26, making it third down and one to go for the Browns. The Browns, by the way, lead 20 to 10. This time, Otto Graham pitches out to Ken Carpenter. He goes for three yards and a first down on the 29-yard line. Otto Graham, one of the game's all-time great passers, fades back to his own 25. It's a long pass intended for Ray Renfro, but it falls incomplete on the Giants' 25. Graham hands off to Gigati. He's met at the line of scrimmage. No gain. That giant line is rather ferocious. Third and ten, and Graham back to pass once more. It's a screen pass attempt, but knocked down by the giant line. Looks as if some of the boys want to mix it up there a little bit. Horace Gillum standing in his own 15 in punt formation. Gets his kick away. It's blocked by Jim Duncan and picked up by Kennedy on the 30. Runs with it to the 17 before he's pinned down by Gillum. Well, how about that? Now, in professional football, can a player on the defense run with a block kick or is the ball dead at the spot at which he recovers the block punt? Now, you as a referee have to decide that question. 
And if you decide it correctly, you've got a chance to win one or more $100 United States savings bonds and a box of 50 White Owl cigars. So stand by, if you will, because in just a moment or so, we're going to switch to the White Owl sportscaster in your city who may be calling you to call the play. Friends, I'd like to take time out just for a moment for my favorite cigar. Oh, folks, I'm what a lot of people refer to as a free man. So that means I've got no Christmas problems. And girlfriends, diamonds, and all my men friends, White Owl cigars. Now, gals, I can't show you the diamonds right here. They'll just have to come as a big surprise to you Christmas Day. But I do have the White Owls here. Here they are, the national famous White Owl cigars. Now, there's a gift worth a box of diamonds to any man. Wonderfully mild White Owls. All the pleasure and smoke and enjoyment a man could wish for. Yes, sir. And a box of 50 White Owls, you know, costs not more than $5. And a box of 25, not more than 250. Now, there are two shapes to choose from the famous Invincible, and the stylish, slim trim Panatella. You know, more men have enjoyed White Owl cigars than any other ever made in the United States. So ladies and gentlemen, you can't go wrong when you give a box of beautifully wrapped White Owls for Christmas. A great smoke every day. A great gift, Christmas Day. Are you ready to call the play? If you are, You've got a chance to win one or more $100 United States savings bonds and a box of 50 White Owl cigars. Now, our White Owl sportscaster is standing by in your city, ready to call tonight's contestant. The referee rules it's first and ten for the Giants on the 17, and the Giants offense takes over as their defensive team goes off the field. Did you call the play? Well, the right answer is that a defensive player can run with a blocked punt, and that's true whether it be professional or college football. Of course, there are differences in the rules as far as college and the pro ranks are concerned, but in this particular instance, college or pro, you can run with a block kick. Now, remember to get in on the fun, simply send me your name, address, telephone number. Just send it to me, Mel Allen. Care of the station that you're now watching. Every week in your city, you see, we'll be selecting a new contestant to call our play of the week. So drop me a card or a note tonight. Won't you do that for me? Thank you very much. Well, that's our game for tonight, friends. So I do hope that you'll plan to be with us next week for another session of Call the Play. In the meantime, remember to pick up some White Owl cigars. Man, you'll really like them. You've got two wonderful shapes to choose from, the famous Invincible and the slim, trim, stylish Panatella. And you can get both shapes, you know, in the handy White Owl 5-pack. 